Hi, I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Century United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. And this is my daily devotion for Monday, February 22nd in the year 2021. Each uh, Sunday morning, to accompany the Sunday morning message, we have uh, message notes that we put out. Uh, they have uh, places where you can write in the spaces uh, or you can write in the margins, whatever is helpful for you. There's five days of devotional material here. And then uh, I have these daily devotions so that we can further unpack uh, the message and the scripture from the previous Sunday. So today, uh, I wanted us to talk about the seven last words of Christ. I grew up in a church that was pretty small, and I'm not sure I ever heard of the seven last words of Christ until I was in seminary. I'm going to review them with you very quickly right now. These are phrases that were uttered by Jesus as he was dying on the cross, words that uh, were spoke uh, that were representative of his ministry, uh, words of caring and forgiveness, anguish and anguish and bewilderment. Uh, words of ultimate uh, resignation and acceptance as he died on the cross for, for our sins uh, to save us. As he was lifted up on the cross, uh, the first word that Jesus offered was a word of forgiveness. He said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they are doing. So right away, he begins with this wonderful forgiveness of those who are persecuting and actually killing him. Uh, the thief who recognized that Jesus did not deserve to die on the cross, uh, Jesus made him a promise. And he said to the thief, "To truly, I tell you today, you will be with me in paradise. So he gave a promise to that thief that he would, uh, as he would die on his own cross, that he would join Jesus in heaven to be with God forever and ever. And then uh, ever caring for his uh, earthly family, his mother was near to the cross watching her son die. And Jesus connected his mother, Mary, with uh, his beloved disciple, John. So he looked at Mary and he said, a woman, behold your son. And he looked at um, John and he said, here is your mother. So he was, it was a word of caring for those who were looking on uh, at the crucifixion. In a moment of anguish, Jesus recalled the words that he must have learned as a youth. And he quoted Psalm 22, verse 1, saying, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Often as we hear Jesus uh, proclaim a scripture from the Old Testament, it is a thought to be a fulfillment of a prophecy that Jesus knew these words and was sharing them at just the right time. I think the most perplexing word that came from the cross, that came from Jesus, was when he said in John 19, chapter 19, verse 28, he said, I thirst. I had to look up that uh, phenomenon. So I looked up uh, if people thirst when they are dying. And did you know that 80 to 90% of patients who are dying report being thirsty? That's according to a 2016 uh, study from the Palliative uh, Care uh, Network of Wisconsin. John writes in his gospel that Jesus said, I thirst, as the fulfillment of a couple of Old Testament scriptures found in the Psalms. But for me, Jesus saying that he was thirsty indicated to me that uh, he was human, he was suffering, and he was near death. And so I wanted to share that with you. Then Jesus went on to say in John's gospel, it is finished. And you kind of have to ask the question, what's finished? Was his life finished? Certainly it was. Was his mission finished? Was hope for the world finished as the Savior died on the cross? You might look at those questions and, and say, in, in a way, the, the answer is yes to them in some significant way. Because yet the Easter, the Easter miracle had not happened yet. And then finally, uh, the final word that Jesus said was, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And after that, Jesus hung his head and he died. That's a real quick review of the words that came from Jesus uh, on the cross as he was dying. They represent uh, Jesus' true nature as he fulfilled his earthly mission and ministry. Even as he was dying, this, this horrifying death, he was thinking of others. He was offering forgiveness. He was quoting scripture. 
uh, it was amazing. Think of the faith that Jesus possessed as he was as he was nailed to a cross and left to die there. His life would have tremendous meaning. You know, how are your core values maintained when you are experiencing stress and pain? Are they consistent with other better times in your life? I want you to think about uh, Jesus and uh, these seven last words, how they really are representative of his entire life in ministry, his teachings, his miracles. All those things are wrapped up into these caring words that he offered from the cross. I want you to think about that, and tomorrow we'll talk about uh, a different set of last words. Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for Christ. We thank you for his incredible love, the incredible sacrifice that he made for each and every one of us. And we ask that your blessing be with us as we begin this season of Lent, that as we focus on uh, the words that were said to the cross, that we remember that Jesus first uttered the words from the cross, words of hope, words of forgiveness, words of uh, healing and caring. They're consistent with his life, Lord. And as he lived, Jesus also died. In Christ's name we pray, and in the power of your Holy Spirit, amen. Have a great day, friends. God bless. Hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.